what is permissible with regards to family planning so uh, the one practice which was done during the uh, lifetime of prophet muhammad sallam was as that is the uh, coitus interruptus so it was practiced it it, uh, it is mentioned in the hadith from jabir in sahi bukhari and also in sahi muslim also so sahi bukhari hadith number 5208 and 5209 from jabir he said that kunna na'zilu wal quran yanzilu he said that we used to practice coitus interruptus that is as we used to practice that so what is coitus interruptus it is removing the organ before ejaculation <coughs> so they used to practice that and he said wal quran yanzilu and the quran was being revealed that means that we used to practice that and no command forbidding that came into the quran because quran was being revealed so uh, further it is mentioned in the uh, hadith of sahih muslim from uh, jabir radiyallahu anhu only that he said that kunna na'zilu ala ahdi rasulillah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that we used to practice this coitus interruptus during the lifetime of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and fa balagha zalik and the news of that this practice of coitus interruptus azl it reached prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he said that he did not forbid us from practicing this that is azl that is removing the organ before ejaculation he did not forbid that so what does this practice do it prevents the semen to go inside because the organ is removed before ejaculation so it was practiced during the time of prophet muhammad sallam and he did not forbid that nor does quran revealed uh, any command forbidding it so that means it was permissible so in today's scenario such that we can use the temporary methods like using condoms because it it is similar because it is similar because it is preventing the semen to go inside so the use of condom is permissible 